Hello and welcome back to this step-by-step -step HTML tutorial series for beginners and in this video we are going to learn how to use CSS styles to make our website look a little bit nicer than it was before. So without further ado let me show you how our website is currently looking like. So let me take you to the editor here and we have created these codes in our previous video and let me open in a browser to show you how it is looking like here. So if you want to start from the scratch, I have got the playlist here. I'm going to attach the link into the video description so that you will be able to start from the beginning. All right. So here we are going to use style attribute to make some changes. We are going to change the background color of this text. We are going to change the color of this text and then we are going to change the whole body's background color. We are going to increase the text size we are going to change the font family of these things and finally we will give some alignment of this text so that they will be instead of this left side they could be in the uh, middle center size or in the right side so let me show you how to use the style attribute to make your website a little bit nicer than it was before so first of all let's go back to our coding and then i'd love to remove some text from here to make it a little bit cleaner and I'd love to remove some text from here as well. All right. And now let's save this document and let's see how it is looking like. Control save. Okay. And then if I just reload this page, now our web page is looking like this. Let's say I want to change the background color of this text. So how we could do that? Let's go back to this coding. And then here we have got tags h1 tag started here and ended here so whatever attribute we want to use we have to use them into the starting tag of any element okay so here is the starting text so we have to give a space here in between the angle brackets and then we have to give the attribute so we are going to use style attribute which is a CSS style attribute and after that we have to give equal then double quotation and then we have to give the property and the value in between these double quotations. For example, we want to change the background color of this text. So let's do this. Let's put the property here, which is background. And then color background hyphen C O L O R and then give a colon. And after that, give the value. So we want our background color to be, let's say red and we have to then give to semicolon here then save this file now if i just reload this page just take a look we have got a red background color now i want to change the color of this text to white to see how it is going to look like and let's see if we can do this so let's move back and we'll be able to give as many properties as we want into one style attribute so let's move on we want to add another property here and to close a property and value we have to use this semicolon always remember this one and after that just give a space and it will be all fine to use another property here so let's use the property which is color to change the text color which is currently black okay the text color is black but we want to change it to white so let's do this we have to see, uh, write here color and then give colon and after that we want to give like white and semicolon then save this file now go back to the website reload this page just take a look we have changed the background color and the text color here on this page now let's say i want this text size to be let's say 70 pixels if we can increase the text size so let's go back here and then this text is in our h2 tag as it is here so we have to give the style attribute here on this h2 tag and again we have to start from the starting tag okay so let's give the style attribute here style equal to double quotation and then we have to enter the information here so as we want to increase the text size so we have to use font size and then colon so this is our property and then we have to give the value so we want 70 pixels so whatever pixels you want you can put it here and then we have just closed this uh, attribute here okay 
so let's save this file and now if I just go back here and reload this page just take a look we have got a bigger h2 than the h1 uh, the reason behind it's being bigger is because we have given some styles here with font size this pixels if you want to decrease the size to 60 pixels or let's say 65 pixels let's save this file and it will be decreased just take a look here okay so that's the process of using the style attributes to uh, change background color text color and then change the sizing of the text and now let's see what else we have to learn so let's change the font family and after that we have to so let's talk about font family first so font family as you can see as of now the whole document has a font family which is let's say maybe uh, Calvary but if you just take a look here we are going to see many many hundreds of font families here so let's take any font from here so that we'll be able to change it to our document so let's use this one forte f-o-r-t-e and let's see if we can change the font style in our html document so let's go back here and then i want the font family to be changed so let's use the property which is f-o-n-t hyphen family then colon and then we want to give the value here which is f-o-r-t-e and then colon let's save this file and let's reload this page just take a look we have changed the font family as well okay so this is how you have to select whatever font you want and then you have to give the name into our html document here uh, by using this process of style attribute and then there is property and the value all right so now at the end we have got something else which is uh, let's take this text to the center part here instead of the left side we want it to in, in center so let's see how we can do this again we can put as many properties as as we want into this style attribute so let's give a space here and then text hyphen align and we want this to be in center so let's give center so yeah center and always remember always be careful on using the correct words here okay so let's close this uh, uh, property here and then save this file now if i just reload this page it is in uh, center and one last thing that i'd love to show you is how to change the background color of the whole document and i'm going to increase the size of this text before that style and then font size font size and we're going to give let's say 60 pixels and i want this font to be okay so just 60 pixels and let's save this file and below this page it is in 60 pixels so now it's time to change the background color of the whole document and let's see how to do this so we as we want to change the background color of the whole body so we have to select or actually give the style attribute in the body tag here so let's click on body starting tag and then give a space put style and guess what i'm going to give here e oh, sorry equal to then double quotation what i'm going to use here please let me know by commenting below if you have guessed that what i'm going to actually use in this uh, property and value so again i'm going back and I'm going to show you background color and then we want the background as let's say yellow and let's save this file okay so i i have to close this one and then let's save this file and reload this page just take a look we have got a beautiful website now all right so we are going to learn more interesting thing in our coming videos and if you want to get them please like this video let me know any questions if you have by commenting below and also your opinion and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified on my future uploads 
and please share this video to help your friends as well again here we have got the playlist if you have missed my previous videos you can start from the beginning and that's it i hope to see you in the next video for an interesting journey here on learning html codings and becoming a web developer in our future okay so i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching